When Tesla introduces a new car, the world goes crazy with excitement. It's one of the most hotly anticipated tech and automotive products. And this is it. Kind of underwhelming, looks exactly the same as the old car, because it is. Everything that's new is inside on a software update. Got a notification saying an update is ready. I accepted it, it took about 45 minutes. And then the whole of the inside of my car is like an entirely new vehicle. And this will apply to any Tesla on the road or any Model S or X. This car is now running version 8.0. It's Tesla's latest software. This is a beta version that we've been given an early look at. It's on this 17 inch screen here in the center. This is the way you interact with your Tesla. And this is where you see all the differences. First thing I notice is that everything looks a bit more modern and a bit flatter. The music interface is much nicer. Here's local radio, here's streaming radio, or you can listen to your own phone. Still not very many controls for your own phone. Maps up here are where things look really nice. I can navigate, and in one touch, I'm just going to go to the Wired office, which is not very far away from here. Proceed to the highlighted route onto 9th Street. And Tesla has now made it so these icons at the top will actually go away. So the map will take up the entire screen area and really give you this sort of huge view, which is useful when you're navigating. There is a downside to that in that these buttons are then hidden and slightly harder to get to. You have to tap the screen twice in order to pull down the menu bar and then tap on whatever else you want. Voice recognition has been improved with an accent. That's something that I definitely appreciate now. You just tap the button and then up here, I can say navigate to the nearest Starbucks and it will write on the screen what it thinks I said. It got it. And then on the maps over on the center screen, it brings up a list of all the Starbucks that are nearby. One of the most functional improvements is for the driver display. When I activate autopilot, it now shows me the speed it's set to very clearly and a bright blue circle to show that auto steering is on, the car is keeping itself in its lane. And that is an improvement that a lot of people have been asking for. It makes it much clearer when the system is and isn't active. And one of the best things about getting a whole new interface, well, at least it gives you something to look at and play with while you're sitting in bumper to bumper traffic.